I'd like to welcome you to the core skills for the modular training system for, for squash. What we're going to do with core skills, these are the skills that every single player should be able to attain. And the deal is, or well, the aim is, not to have any errors at all. So they're quite basic skills, they're really quite simple. But what we want to do is do everything as fast as we possibly can and not make any errors. So we'll go through each of the skills, we'll let you know just how you can actually improve the outcomes that you get. And um, the aim really is 50 hits per per exercise, and if you can finish that within 10 minutes, then what we want to do is next time I want you to do 60 hits per exercise. If you finish that within the 10 minutes, next time do 70 and so on. Let's say you, can't, you can do 70 but you can't do 80, the next time you would do 75. And then if you can do 75, the time after that you'll do 76 until the find, you find the number that suits you, and then you try and improve on that. So basically what I'm saying is that Every single person can have between 500 and 1,000 hits within 10 minutes. That's how good this is. And it's very beneficial because it gives you repetitive hits. Four people on the court will basically have at least 500 hits each within 10 minutes, and that's a fantastic thing. So I'm going to show you the, the first exercise, which is the forehand drops, and we'll show you how to do it better and faster and get a better outcome. So here's your forehand drop, and it's pretty simple. Now a lot of players that want to get down really low and do all this, I would rather they stand up, drop their wrist a little bit, and use their forearm to hit. And a little circle when they hit is a wonderful thing. Now watch what happens when I start taking half volley, half volley. All of a sudden, the ratio of hits goes up big time. And it's that time that you're taking away between the bounce and the hit. So if I go back to slow, See how I'm not hitting it any slower or any faster when I do this. I'm just hitting it earlier. And so the ratio goes through the roof. So you can muck around with that. And the aim is that's your forehand hits, forehand drops. Every one of them's got to be forehand. So there you go. Nice little swing. Try and keep your wrists really stable. Try and stop this with the kids and just get them to use their body and their forearm nice and strong. And that'll get the forehand drops off and racing. Okay, with the backhand drops, once again, you've got to get down a little bit lower because it's not as easy to drop your wrist. You need your wrist turned back. So if you have your wrist turned back, you'll find you can get the outcome. Now it's often better to do this rather than off that front foot. You're pushing out and around. If you swap over, your body opens up and then you get really good. Once again, you can go half volley, half volley, half volley. Left hand out for balance and you'll find it works pretty well. And just like that, little circle each time and not doing too much work, just coming through and lifting the ball nice and high. Kids tend to want to hit the ball down there and then it gets really hard when the ball's down there, really difficult. And you'll notice that I'm not doing this on the tin. It doesn't really matter, you can do it on the tin and it is a good idea eventually to do it on the tin. But for a start, if we keep, don't use the tin at all, it becomes quite simple for kids and pretty easy. So there you go, there's your backhand drop. Stand up a little bit, don't get down too, too, too low. And nice strong wrist, forearm hit, that's the way to go. Then if we look at our forehand, backhand drops, you need to just turn your wrist over and go over and over and over and over. Now weight transfer to this foot, to that foot, to that foot, to that foot. When they get hold of that, it will come together really quickly. Then they can do the half volley, half volley, half volley, half volley, and it all comes together really quick. So it's really quite simple. Once you get used to it, just take your racket over. It teaches early prep. It teaches everything. Once again, we're aiming for no errors, and half volley hits, and it gets faster. It gets really good with half volley hits. Before you know it, you're just pumping out 50 of these in no time. It's all pretty simple. Okay, so little corner drops. One side wall, front wall, front wall, side wall. Take your racket over each time. Left hand out for balance. And try and move. Move over here, move over there, move. Transfer your weight from side to side. It gets really simple if you transfer your weight. Cross there, keep it going around. And now, to get better at this, I've got a half volley, half volley. And it's actually easier if you half volley. The earlier you go, the better it is for you. Quite a good exercise, really good for concentration. Keep the ball upwards at all times, and you find it becomes really quite simple. And it's actually good fun at the same time. So 
So with your forehand volley, once again, nice open racket face. Move your racket to, to straight, rather than turning around your body, move your wrist straight towards the side wall. Keep your racket face open, nice short swing, little circle if you want. And I'm going off the back foot, off my right foot, because it's really easy. As soon as I go this foot, all of a sudden I start to turn around my front leg and it becomes really very much more difficult. This becomes easy because you get a real position to hit off. And then you can go faster and lower and stronger as you get better. And before you know it, you would have pumped out 50 of those without too much trouble. Short arm, nice short swing, not too much follow through. It gets really simple once you do that for a little while. So we go to the backhand volley, and I like to just keep your racket really stable, not do too much, and use a, almost a body hit rather than an arm hit. See how little your arm actually moves? You don't need to move your arm much at all. Left hand out for balance. And once you get good at this, you can start to really put a bit more arm in, but really short, and if you find a stop position, you can get quite good at it. And this is a real skill that kids need to develop. It teaches reflexes and everything as well. But when you go slow, it's nice and easy, and it's a little body move. Off your back foot is better. This is much harder, because all of a sudden you're turning around your body all the time. I'm even struggling, and I don't normally do that. If I go this way, it becomes really simple. So there you go. That's your backhand volley. Okay, so we do our corner volleys. Corner volleys, try not to flick the racket around too much. Keep the racket straight. I'll take it over and over and over. So now I'm not hitting the ball very hard. I'm keeping my left hand out for balance. And I'm just trying to keep the ball around about chest height and hitting maybe off about hip height, somewhere there. So if it gets too high, it gets really awkward. After a while, once you get good at this, you start to really go fast and you can really pump these out. But as I said, remember the aim is to not make any mistakes at all. So you'll do all these exercises, every single one of them, without making one single mistake. And that's where it's all at. And there you go. Volleys are good fun. The great players even do this as far as an exercise goes as well. So it's a good exercise to do. Okay, this is one of my favourite exercises, where we lift up and we cut down. This is really difficult for kids to get hold of at the start. And we like to put an exercise in which is a real challenge. So it's not easy at all. It's up and down, up and down, up. If you have a stop part and a start position, you'll find it'll get real easy. So up there, down there. And you just basically take your racket from one spot to the other. And it'll get really simple. This teaches open face racket. It teaches a half body lift up for a, a lob. So it's quite a good exercise. And if you do it near the tin, it gets quite challenging because it's not that easy to keep the ball above the tin without making mistakes at all. So there you go. There's your forehand exercise with a lift up and a cut volley down. Okay, so we have a backhand lift up and a cut volley down. This needs to be done off the back foot because you need open body. If you start going across here like this, it gets really difficult. You can do it, but it's nowhere near as easy. This there, open body, allows that cut across your body with that angle there. Get the ball to about shoulder height, cut down. Go half body lift up, and it gets really simple. But the kids will work this out, and you will work this out over time. This is a great exercise in concentration, in ball control, and um, really makes a difference to your volley when you haven't got any time because you just naturally go bang and just pop it in without any trouble at all. Great exercise. It'll be tough for kids at the start, but before you know it, they'll be pumping them out really easily. So you've got to have some tough exercises as well as some easy ones. And so there you go. So there you go. That's my little 30 second routine. 30 seconds of that. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. By the time you've got four kids on the court plus yourself, you can do it by yourself, which is all good. But you've gone and had, whatever, a couple of hundred, maybe 500 hits or somewhere like that, all inside around about four minutes or something like that. So it's really quite a good thing, maybe five, six minutes. But um, get into it, repetition is a wonderful thing. You'll learn certain things about yourself, about your drop shots and about all sorts of ways to hit the ball and how to hit it consistently and so on. And generally, I'll give you a little tip. If you're gonna play a drop, you half volley it, half volley it, half volley, half volley, and it gets easy. Then 
If I don't, all of a sudden I'm fighting with it. But half volley, half volley, just becomes simple. And you'll learn a fair bit just from that. And it just gets easy. That includes all those you watch there. Half volley, half volley, nearly half volley anyway. Anyway, I get a bit carried away trying to show you stuff. But that's a great little routine to get better, is to understand how to get repetition where the ball is and don't have enough time to think. Everything happens really quick. It's sort of like almost a reflex everything shot sort of routine. Great for you, great for kids, great for anybody of any standard. You should be doing that sort of stuff regularly.